Loves his, uh, <laughs> who just loves his World at War soundtrack, menu soundtrack. Hey, what's going on, guys? Red Machine back with another video, and welcome to another Call of Duty World at War class setup. It's been a while, you know, it's, it's, it's been like probably a year or two since I did the uh, MP40 video. I've played this video a lot, like, I'm oh, sorry, not this video. I haven't played this game in, in a hot minute. Like, I was thinking what I was going to play today, and, um, you know, I was really thinking about some World at War. Played a few matches with the PPSH and the Type 99, the FG-42, the MG-42, the DP-27, the Dinner Plate 27, you know, some gums I'm going to have to go get in, uh, going to have to get in, uh, class up sooner or later. Let your enemies have to right now for some reason. But on this video, we'll be doing the PPSH-41. We did the MP-40. This gun is still the best in the game of all time. Check out that video if you haven't. If not, there's a class up right there. But, um, sooner or later, we'll be doing the Thompson, the Type 100, the FG-42, the DP-28, the Type 99, the 19, M-1919, the BAR, and the FG-42. We'll be doing SMGs and LMGs when I play this game. So I don't know when those videos will be. The other ones I just listed off, but stay tuned in the future. Like I said, I'm going to be playing every Call of Duty for class subs in the f of all time. I'm uh, making them for you guys. I know you guys still play the older cards. You need a good class sub up. There you go. So, uh, the PPSH, this is one of my favorite guns of all time. My favorite PPSH ever. And, um, on the channel, we have done uh, three PPSH. Last setups. Uh, and I forget. I can't even speak right now. God damn it. Um, if you guys didn't know, the PPSS was originally going to be in COD 4, too. But it got scrapped. But this gun's been in World at War. It's been in Black Ops 1, but in only in Campaign and Zombies, unfortunately. It'd be cool if that was in multiplayer as, as well. Um,. It's in It's in Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon, which that's the only one I've never even used. I don't even have any gold, so after I get this video done, there will be one more gun haul in Call of Duty history, and um, it'll be the PPSH from Black Ops 3, which I do not have unlocked yet, so when I get unlocked and I get in gold and stuff, I will make a video of that. Also, uh, other guns have been in, and... Uh, Call of History, it's been in World World War II, that's my second favorite PPSH of all time. That gun is pretty OP, but this one's a lot better. And uh, the next one is Black Ops Cold War, it's a DLC gun, we done that one on the channel. And we got the Vanguard version. Which the Vanguard version is probably my least favorite, I would say. But there's my class up for the PPSH, primary, SMG. It's a Soviet SMG, of course, Russian submachine gun, with very high rate of fire, effective at close to medium range. And this gun is has a high, really high uh, fire rate, so don't put double tap on this. It is good, but I don't recommend it. For the attachments, always put the round drum on this, 71 rounds. Uh, sidearm, go with the Russian pistol, the Torkov T, T-33. Um, for primary, I like using Molotov cocktails. For special grenades, I like using turban, or tub and gas. Uh, for the perks, perk one, bandolier always. Perk two, stopping power. And perk 3, steady aim. And for the third perk, dead silence. Deep impact and extreme condition go well here too. I like steady aim because I hit fire a lot with this one. I do from time to time for the vehicle perks. It's up to you. I use uh, 
the uh, cox coxal um, machine gun for the tank. So, I right, guess so let's get into a ground war lobby. There's 467 people online. I love playing. Couple matches of ground. Standard TV. If you guys want to see the stats of this gun, check out calldutyfandom.com. Call Duty Wikipedia with all the guns and stats and everything else. Reloading! We need the Our artillery will break their will! Our recon plane will find them, wherever they are! Unleash the dog! So 
sooner or later I'll play like, like we get this uh, game done with all the class ups on it. Well, like 27 guns. was this? Other cool thing about uh, World at War, what do you choose? When you type in a color, it actually turns that color into a land tag. One thing I love about this game. And here we go, my two favorite maps in this video. Asylum and Dome. Some was Dome and Call of Duty I've always liked. This map was fun. And the Dome and Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite. But All my one of those. Up, uh, we are taking the lead! Hey, this one is definitely one of my top 10 pair of maps of all time in the of history. It was the Dome and Mono for 3. That's probably my second favorite of all time. My favorite map is High Rise from Baskin. Alright, no. Sorry, 0 and 2, 0 and 3. Class up with this game on our letter. I think after this video I might do another on somewhere else. I think it may be mono master. Well, one of them. Sensing uh, hacks. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I like this on. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, 
Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys like this class of them. This game is still fun in 2022, but you'll see some hack lobbies a lot. So, uh... Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.